<laughs> hey guys, Ginger here with another installment of Ginger Talks. Today we'll be diving into the current Epic Games launcher free game, Gods Will Fall, sharing my impressions and opinions based on my experiences thus far in playing the game. Gods Will Fall was released in late January 2021, developed by Clever Beans and published by Deep Silver. Set in a world controlled by cruel gods, whose torturous rule over humanity has lasted millennia, you set out to defeat each of these gods to release the realm from their control. This Celtic-themed cross between an ARPG, roguelike, and a Souls-like game does a great job of giving you basic controls intro, but largely leaves you to your own devices to figure out how best to work through the god realms and progress through the game. As you start the game, you find yourself on the beach next to a cave entrance, which is where you do the tutorial, and a map full of indicators, but no real details on what they all mean. Each named area is a god realm, with the yellow dashed indicators being shortcuts between different parts of the map, with more indicators showing up as you work through clearing different realms. You have a crew of eight heroes, each with their own stats, skills, weapons, and character design, which impacts how they perform in battle. Breaking down the different stats, Vigor is your max HP, depicted as red bubbles on the left side of your screen, with the starting Vigor being how much of your health you start with when the run begins. Strength is as it would suggest, a damage modifier to help you burn through enemies faster, and Speed being how quickly your hero attacks. Each hero can also have multiple skills, which can provide bonuses that can be the difference between clearing a run or finding your hero lost to the god's realm. In addition to stats and skills, each hero is also equipped with a weapon that has its own set of attacks, trade-offs that should be taken into account as you plan a run. You choose one hero to take into the realm and try to defeat the boss, with success yielding great rewards and defeat trapping that hero in the realm until the boss is defeated or all heroes are lost and the game ends. Now, I want to spend a little time sharing some of the things I've really enjoyed, as well as some stuff that have been a little more of a challenge for me. While I like the ARPG style camera angle, it can prove problematic in some realms, as it can completely obscure your ability to see yourself or your enemies, which can leave you vulnerable to devastating attacks. There are also some areas of a realm, like the railings of stairs, that are treated as a different level, so it means that you could end up missing attacks that would otherwise have hit because the enemy is on a different level than you are. Another thing that gets me personally is some enemies seem to have more poise, even when not armored. So even though I'm chopping them in the face, they are unaffected and continue to get off their attacks at will. However, I do love far more about this game than I've had issues with. I really dig the general art style and music design Keeping it simple, yet beautifully done, with little details and things like tattoos on your heroes, piles of weapons and things on a level, or this gorgeous scenic overview worked into one of the god realms. From a gameplay perspective, I'm loving the fact that successful parries and attacking enemies is the main healing mechanic, making the use of consumables possible but not required, and rewarding sharp gameplay and learning different encounters. One of the coolest areas that I'm still exploring in the game is the design of the story and variable-based bonuses that come during gameplay. A particular hero may get a bonus because a friend is lost in a dungeon, or maybe a penalty for being injured, or fear of the god that rules that realm. In addition to the story-based bonuses, your heroes get a mix of bonuses, penalties, skills, and weapons when you successfully clear a realm making the order you approach the realms incredibly helpful in making it further into the game before all your heroes are lost. If it wasn't obvious to this point, I'm a big fan of God's Will Fall right now and would recommend giving it a try, especially if you're a fan of Souls-likes or similarly challenging game series. Even if you may be on the fence if you like it or not, it will be free on the Epic Game Launcher through 10 a.m. Central Time on January 13th, 2022. I'm planning on putting together more detailed videos on things like each God Realm, or the order in which I tackle the realms as I continue to play through. So please be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when the next video drops. As always, feel free to drop any comments, questions, or requests for more content in the comment section below. Please take care of yourselves and happy gaming.